from the book of Job. Job responded to his friend and said, life on earth is slavery. We spend our days like laborers. I am only a slave in search of shade, a laborer waiting for his wages. Each month of my life is meaningless and all of my nights are miserable. While lying in bed, I ask, how long before time to get up? The night drags slowly on as I toss and turn until the sun rises. My days fly by more swiftly than the needle of a weaver, and they end without hope. Remember that my life is merely a breath, and I will never be happy again. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I don't have any reason to brag about preaching the good news. Preaching is something God told me to do. If I don't do it, I am doomed. If I preach because I want to, I will be paid. But even if I don't want to, it is still something God has sent me to do. What pain am I given? It is a chance to preach the good news free of charge, and not to use the privileges that are mine, because I am a preacher. The word of the Lord. With you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As soon as Jesus left the meeting place with James and John, they went home with Simon and Andrew. When they got there, 
Jesus told that Simon's mother-in-law was sick in bed with fever. Jesus went to her. He took her, hold of her hand and helped her up. The fever left her, and she served them a meal. That evening after sunset, all who were sick or who had demons in them were brought to Jesus. In fact, the whole town gathered around the door of the house. Jesus healed all kinds of terrible diseases and forced out a lot of demons. But the demons knew who he was, and he did not let them speak. Very early the next morning, Jesus got up and went to a place where he could be alone and pray. Simon and the others started looking for him. And when they found him, they said, everybody's looking for you. Jesus replied, we must go to the nearby town so that I can tell the good news to those people. This is why I have come. Then Jesus went to the Jewish meeting places everywhere in Galilee where he preached and forced out demons. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. How is everybody here? How are you? Is it raining? Oh, what about the wind? Okay, good. So thank you for coming in the rain and the wind. Uh, that's how God will bless you extra when you make more sacrifice to do something. So I like to ask our children, what do you like to do? What do you like best to do? Anybody? What do you like to do best? Play in the rain. Play video, games. Play video games like that, more or less. Then what else? What is that? In the playground. Coloring. Coloring. Okay, there you, what do you like? Coloring on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Playing there. Anybody else? Huh? Boat ram ramming. Oh, I don't even know what it is, but I believe it is great. Playing? On what? Geoplane. Okay, you? Speak up loud so that I can hear I am getting old. Huh? Play sports, correct? Okay, there you are. Stay home and read. Stay home and read. What do you read mostly? Well, I suppose we all read books, but what type of books? I read I survive books. Stories. Stories. I like to build. Okay, okay, great. Are you children busy? Anybody who is busy here, please raise your hand. I know, you are all very busy, busy. So, busy doing what? What do you do? Playing sports. But you are not playing sports all the time. Little bit, huh? You busy with what? Huh? Sports. Okay, good. How many of you love going to school? Raise your hand. Going to school, how many like? Oh, you, are, you don't like? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you are making others to put down the hand, well. <laughs> how many like going to church? Oh. That is nice. Why do you go to church? To know about Jesus. To pray to Jesus. We are not praying for Jesus, but pray to Jesus. To be a kinder person. Oh, okay, kind of prayer. Anybody else? Why do you go to church? All right. Who is 
Jesus? This is a big question. Who is Jesus? There. Speak loud. Jesus is the Son of God. My goodness, that's a big answer. That's what Peter said. You are the Son of God. When nobody else knew it. Speak loud, okay? Jesus is our Father. Jesus is our Father. Very good. Anybody else? Jesus, yes, go ahead. Yeah, Jesus is our friend. There. Jesus is our light. Jesus is a person. Yes, Jesus is a person. Very correct. Okay. How many of you love your dad and mom? How many of you? Oh, that is very, very nice. I almost everybody love your mom and dad. Why? Why do you love your mom and dad? Why? They keep you safe. They keep you safe. They made a that came into the world. Yes, they brought you through God's grace into this world. Louder. My, I didn't hear anyway. Whatever, I think something good. They make you happy. They make you happy. Over there. They are your family. The same with Jesus. Jesus is like your dad and mom. He protects you. Jesus cares for you. Jesus is our family. Jesus is our friend. And that's why we come to church because Jesus is specially present in the church. It's like when you go to visit your grandma and grandpa. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. yeah because they have some goodies and this and that for you. <laughs> Correct? Same thing. Jesus is waiting here to welcome you. You are family of God. So when you come to church, you truly make Jesus very, very happy. So, I am so glad to see that all of you said you love being in the church. Church is our family. That is where we meet members of our family. See? The large family. And that's where we say thank you to Jesus. Because Jesus is also what we say, our saviour. What's the meaning of that? Jesus is our savior. Anybody knows what's the meaning of that? I think it means father. Yeah, it means father. Yeah. It means he protects us. He protects us. Yeah. It means something big. When you say Jesus is our savior, it means... He is our life. Yes. He's our life, meaning life without end. Jesus can give us eternal life, meaning a life that do not end. That's the meaning of saying Jesus is our savior. Last one. He is the biggest light. So I invite our children to pray every day to Jesus as you said, he is our friend, he is our brother, he is the one who protects us, he is the one who loves us. So we invite all of you to do what? To pray to whom? Jesus. Yes, everybody say, I will pray to Jesus every day, loud. I will pray to Jesus every day. Thank you very much. You can now return to your seats.